Bismillahir Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an ushrika bika wa ana alamu Astaghfiruka liman alamu Subhanallah wa bahamdihi subhanallah al-azim All praises belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise Him, we thank Him, we glorify Him, we seek forgiveness from Him We rely upon Him, tabarak wa ta'ala And we have to begin to really come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And really fear Him And really rely upon Him As that is the characteristic of the believer at the same time, we have to be aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, although He is the most forgiving and the most for merciful, He also is shadeed al-iqab. You know, He's shadeed in his, in his punishment for those people who disbelieve, who turn away, who, who, who don't try to come closer to Allah and do what He commands, and they indulge in His prohibitions. Those people from amongst the hypocrites and those people who just dis disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that that shows us why it's imperative for us to give da'wah to people to share the message of Islam because the punishment is not light the punishment is not easy anything that we can imagine in this life is nothing compared to the hereafter and that's a place we've never seen we've only read about it We've only heard about it from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Prophets before him Alayhim after Salatu Wasallam What Jesus came with, what Moses came with, what Abraham came with All the Prophets What they came with, their message They warned, they, they, they came as warners And they called the people to worship Allah alone And to stay away from those things, worship besides Allah Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasulan in na'budullaha wa tajtanibu taghut and we sent to every nation a message a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid the taghut avoid those things worship besides Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala but let's take a, a, a look just one of the ayats from the many which is a stern warning to those who disbelieve in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala qala qala Allah Ta'ala fi kitabihi al-karim إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفْرُوا لَن تُغْنِيَ عَنْهُمْ أَمْوَالَهُمْ وَلَا أَوْلَادَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا وَأُولَئِكَ هُمْ وَقُودُ النَّارِ كَدَأْبِ آلِ فِرْعَوْنَ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا فَأَخَذَهُمُ اللَّهُ بِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَاللَّهُ شَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ كُلِّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا سَتُغْلَبُونَ وَتُحْشَرُونَ إِلَى جَهَنَّمَ وَبِئْسَ الْمِهَادِ الله سبحانه وتعالى says Verily those who disbelieve, their wealth, their children, will not benefit, They're, that doesn't make them self-sufficient, and that will not uh, benefit them with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all. Verily they are the fuel of the hellfire, like the people of Fir'aun. And those who came before them, they lied or they denied the, uh, our signs, meaning our verses, the, the books that were revealed to the messengers, alayhim after salatu wasalam. So Allah seized them by their sins, held them accountable and, and seized them by their sins. And verily Allah is severe in His, His punishment. Say to those who disbelieve that you will be resurrected and you will be overtaken in the hellfire. And what a wicked destination that is. That lets us know the importance of Dawah Allah, that we have the message of Islam. And we should share that with others. Our religion is not restricted to a particular color or nationality or group of people, but it's for all of mankind regardless of your color. But you must accept the creed of Islam. 
You must worship Allah alone. And that's what we have to try to convey that to the rest of mankind and set that example. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many, many shortcomings and for being shy with the message instead of being uh, looking at the urgency that it is for mankind to accept the truth, to accept the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins and may Allah bless us with sincerity and firmness on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah accept our fasting. May Allah accept our good deeds. May Allah forgive us of all our sins. May Allah unite the Muslims based on kitab illa wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.